Jiang Wenfen, son of Jiang Zemin, had three kidney transplants. A total of five people were killed for him. After his father, Jiang Zemin seized upon the power in the Communist Party. Jiang Wenfen mastered his father's skills in corruption. He became the number one corrupted official in China. Many media reported that he was diagnosed with kidney cancer, including Outpost magazine in Hong Kong and Overseas People's Daily. According to Wikileaks, Professor Gu in Nanjing University revealed that Jiang Menhen had at least two surgeries for his kidney cancer. Guo Wengui, a wealthy businessman who fled from China, revealed a secret why some Chinese senior officials are able to live despite having a terminal illness. They extended their lives by having organ transplants. Organ Harvesting On Demand Guo exposed Zhang Menhen had three kidney transplanting surgeries, killing a total of five people. Men Jiang Zhu, a member of the Central Political Committee promoted single-handedly by Jiang Zemin, his mother had liver as well as kidney transplants. His wife had kidney transplants twice. In order to find healthy living donors, Men's confidant Sun Ning Jin vigorously searched. He did not even care if they killed the wrong ones. Found a group foreman chairman Li Yu in order to obtain a healthy liver for his transplant. Ten people were selected. Guo Wengui said, there are more you might not believe. Why are some senior officials still live after they were diagnosed with cancer? Why are their children still alive despite a terminal illness? Why did they kill seven people for a set of compatible kidney in Nanjing? In the end, that person lived 20 years longer. How did they do it? Organ harvesting, it is real. Why is Li Yo still alive? He had liver cancer for 10 years. He had liver transplants two to three times. Recently, there was a dialogue between a member of the National Security Committee and a second generation party official. It revealed that most of the senior officials have profits of over hundreds of billions or even trillions. They did not only want to live forever, they also want to replace their organs for healthy ones. The largest resources in China is population. 1.4 billion people is in their abundant donor database. Many signs indicated in order to serve the elite class in China, organ harvesting has become a national industry. According to Investigation International report, there are large warehouses of large organ donors in China. A vast majority of them are Falun Gong practitioners, and others from Tibet, Uyghur, and House of Christians. Organ harvesting was initiated by Jiang Zemin. It is carried out by the Chinese Communist regime from a national level down. Each level of government, military, armed police, judiciary, and medical system are all involved in it. They secretly kill and harvest organs from citizens in order to serve the elite members of the communist class.